Sim was the favourite at five to one ahead of A Wall at sixes and eight to one and bigger the rest. And they're off. Racing away and Revich away well towards the inside. The gatekeeper is going to go forward with Dutch decoy. Uh, dropping in across at the rear, dual identity and Escobar. Darkness showing good speed, possibly to lead from the gatekeeper. Johan and Dutch decoy. A while is handy. A lean dove green cap on the outside from Revich. And then the Wizard of Iron, Sunny Liston around the inside. In the midfield then uh, is Takri Bay. Latam the favourite, green and red jacket. White blaze on the inside. Halfway down the field from Perotto and racing breaks rider who's pulling furiously and then towards the back is Almu Beer with Orban and also Ross Collin dual identity and at the back is Escobar Perotto towards the outside in the lead in the last eight at this stage running down the hill and it's darkness that now takes them along from Johan in second Aline Dove on the outside from the gatekeeper they're tracked by a while then round the inside is Revich from Dutch decoy the Wizard of Eye in a red jacket they're followed by Sunny Liston Latan behind a wall of horses up the inside from Takari Bay. Perotto improving a bit then from Blue for You. And then Orban further back, Al Mubia. Also Bo Pedro towards the back, dual identity. Darkness is taken on by Johan. Darkness and Johan switch wide now, the gatekeeper. Coming home well, Sunny Liston with Dutch decoy a while. And out wide, the Wizard of Eye. Darkness is claimed now by Johan. Johan on the outside of Darkness. In fact, they go head and head. Here's the gatekeeper rallying in third from Dutch decoy. And Sunny Liston, they race up towards the line and Johan taking it up under James Doyle the gatekeeper is fighting back on the near side but Johan first run for Jack Channon and wins the golden mile Johan from his second the gatekeeper Dutch decoy darkness followed by Sonny Liston running on El Mubir down the outside with the wizard of eye Johan, a big prize winner of the Coral Golden Mile, 25 to 1. The gatekeeper was second at 14 to 1. In third place, a Dutch decoy at 11s and Darkness finished fourth at 50 to 1. Johan, fresh at his best, a fine performance by trainer Jack Shannon. First run of the season, won the Lincoln last season on his reappearance and he's done pretty much that once again. James Doyle seemed to good effect uh, from stall 18, had the wide draw, but he's travelled with a lot of fluency and ran away from the gatekeeper who ran well but never looked like getting there. James Doyle got Johan across from stall 18 to win the Golden Mile and he won it tenaciously. Many congratulations. With that wide draw, how was it in the early stages? Um, well, it couldn't have been more straightforward, to be honest. Obviously, the key points looking through the race beforehand, they didn't. Un it's unusual for a race like that to go through the race and there not be a lot of obvious pacemakers or, or genuine leaders. So, um, I mean, he's a very straightforward horse to ride so we knew once we got that draw there was only one thing for us to do really I think on this testing conditions today and with the rail being back in the true position it, I didn't think it'd be well I thought it'd be very difficult to take your medicine and try and ride to come home especially with the lack of pace so yeah it couldn't have gone much more straightforward he bounced out the gate super quick like he, he needed to do that and he did which was super we were able to float over next to um, Hector Crouch on darkness and we were able to just control the race I was a bit of a safety car in second I let Hector go as slow as he dared but mindful that every now and again I could feel them coming so yeah it was quite quite a fun race to ride but very straightforward not your uh, typical Goodwood experience like I, I've had uh, earlier on in the week so um, yeah it was it was super obviously you need a very willing partner and I've known this horse for a number of years and um, I've ridden him when William Haggis had him and um, the whole team have done a marvellous job you know he's been off the track for quite some time. You now you've mentioned them. What are the what are the rides that are flicking through your head when you were talking about that? Oh, there's no, no obvious ones that I'd like to take back, but just uh, yeah, it's Goodwood. I, I thought with the ground being the way it is, it usually strings them out a little bit, but you still do get your hard luck stories. And I've been probably in, in sticky situations where I probably shouldn't have been a couple of times this week. Just you know where you're not picking up at the right time and others are flying, but that's Goodwood, isn't it? You you have to take your medicine and go again. Chess piece, I thought yesterday, really did lay down his credentials with the St. Ledger by finishing second in the Gordon. Really pleased with chess piece. He's come a long way in a short period of time, and his run at Ascot was super on really fast ground. And then we unorthodox route up to Hamilton, which was a nice confidence booster for him. Um, and then obviously he, I couldn't couldn't have faulted him. He, the winner, on reflection, I just wondered whether I let him go through his gears slightly early, but. 
I think right on top of the line he was still surging so perhaps I'm being a bit critical of myself there and where I, when I look back at the replay I saw Tom was just looking for a bit of room and once he got that I thought he may have been an unlucky loser had he not got that room um, another step in the right direction for him I think he'll be better suited going up obviously with the ledger in mind look we know he needs to come on a bit but I think the improvement over a bit further and not being ridden not aggressively but we rode him yesterday like he's a dower stayer and just let him get into that stride he's a very willing genuine horse and I just felt he he was engaged the whole way yesterday so perhaps just tucked in slightly not necessarily dropped in but just a little bit of cover to let him just come back and relax a bit a bit more than he probably did yesterday may help so there's a few little things we can tinker with and now you get to ride Rasel for the second time this week. Now, clearly he got no cover with the way that race panned out earlier in the week. How about this time around in the King George? Yeah, it's been, it has been a frustrating season for Rasel. Look, he, he, his performance here early on in the week was pretty bad, even, even allowing for being out on a wing, but he really does switch off when that happens. Much better draw today, but he needs to bounce back to his best. I mean, he was an unlucky um, loser in this race last year where he just didn't travel and he got outpaced and then flew home. Um, I think Kadem actually beat him that day, so it was a pretty good race, yeah. Um, look, if he can reproduce that, but I think, yeah, he, it's a bit risky today, but we'll see. Okay, well, very best of luck. Congratulations here. Thank you, dear. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. An important first winner for Jack Shannon at the Qatar Goodwood Festival, the first of many, I'm sure, in his first season as a trainer. Johan has won the Golden Mile. Congratulations, you got him ready first time.